What we're looking at is a level 2 functional skills exam question and this particular question ties in loads of different stuff. It's a six mark question, so there's a lot of work to do. There's, um, oh, well, let's just talk through it, let's just go through it one step at a time. Georgiou wants to make a concrete floor for a garage. The concrete floor will be in the shape of a cuboid, 5.5 meters by 6 meters by 10 centimeters. Georgiou knows that to make one meter cubed of concrete, he needs uh, this, much mater this many materials. The table shows information about the costs of the materials and the quantities he can buy. Georgiou has plenty of sand and gravel, so just straight away I'm going to cross off sand and gravel because he doesn't need to buy any. That's, that's not information that we're going to be using. Uh, he has a budget of £150 to buy the cement. Does he have enough money in his budget to buy the cement? Okay, so let's take it step by step. We're going to find out the volume of the cuboid, because that'll tell us how much concrete he needs, and then we'll find out how much cement he needs to make all of that concrete, and find out how much it's going to cost him. Those are all of our stages. So we want to find the volume of this cuboid. This cuboid, it's 6 metres, it's going to be 6 metres by 5.5 metres by 10 centimetres. So, you know, something, something, something like that, I don't know. But I haven't written that 10 centimetres on there. Because if this is in metres, and this is in metres, then I need the height to be in metres as well. I can't mix up my units like that. So the very first thing I need to do, the first mark I can get, is to convert 10 centimetres into metres. Key piece of information we need is that there's 100 centimetres in one metre. So to go from centimetres, like I've got here, into metres, I need to divide by 100. So onto my calculator, I'm doing 10 centimetres into metres, 10 centimetres divided by 100, 0 0.1. Okay, so this cuboid is 0 0.1 metres tall. Okay, now I can find the volume of the cuboid. Oops, a daisy. To find the to find the volume of for goodness sake. To find the volume of a cuboid, I times the width by the length times the height. I'm basically timesing these three different lengths together. So on my calculator, 0 0.1, which is the height, times the depth, which is 6, times by the width, which is 5.5. Right, so the volume of my cuboid is 3.3 and my units are meters... Um, it's tricky to put a cubed sign. I'm going to write meters cubed just to make it clear what this is. Uh, this is a volume. It's the volume of this cuboid. 3.3 uh, meters cubed. Right, on to the next stage. He knows that to make one meter cubed of concrete he needs 300 kilograms of cement and we're not worried about the sand and gravel. We don't. I'm going to cross that off as well, because for now all it's asking us is cement. Okay, uh, make that a bit clearer. 300 kilograms of cement. Right, one meter cubed of concrete needs 300 kilograms of cement. So how much cement do I need for 3.3 meters cubed? Well, I'm going to need three times three, 3.3 3 times as much cement. One meter cubed needs 300 kilograms, 3.3 .3 meters cubed is going to need 3.3 .3 lots of 300 kilograms. So 3.3 .3 times 300, that's how much cement I'm going to need. I'm going to need 990 kilograms cement, which I'm going to write in my working out box, cement. Okay, on to the next stage of the question. I now know how much cement I'm going to need, how, many, how much is it going to cost me? Well, to work out how much it's going to cost me, I need to know how many bags I'm going to need. So each bag is 25 kilograms. I need 990 kilograms. And 990 divided by 25 will tell me how many bags I need. I'm going to need 39.6 bags. Now, if I go to the shop and try and buy a bag of cement, they're not going to sell me 0.6 bags of cement. And it's, I'm, I can't have uh, too little cement. I've got to have too much. I've got to have some left over. So instead of buying 39.6 bags of cement, I'm going to need to buy 40 bags. Now how much is that going to cost me? It would be nice and straightforward if I could just times that by 4.99. However, there's a special offer where you can buy four bags and get the next bag free. Which means that these bags, one way of looking at it, if I'm buying bags of cement, I buy bag one, buy bag two, bag three, bag four, 
and then bag five is free. Yay. So we get one free bag of cement in every five bags that we need. If that's, that's one way of thinking about it. So if I split this into, into these little sort of blocks of five, and I'm only paying for four of them, that's, that, that's, that's one way of breaking down the question. So each of these is £4.99 each. And there are four of them, so just onto my calculator. 4.99 times 4. Okay, so each of these blocks of five is going to cost me £19.96. And I'm going to copy that to my working out box as well. And if I can find out how many of these blocks of five uh, I'm going to need to buy for 40 bags, I can times that by 19.96. So, I can get five bags for 1996. How many five bags do I need? Well, 40 divided by five gives me eight. Uh, I've noticed that's gone in the wrong place, so I'm just going to delete that, move my cursor, and put it down again. Okay, so I need eight lots of five bags to get 40 overall which means I need to pay 8 lots of 1996. So back onto the calculator, 8 times 19 pounds and 96 pence gives me 159 pounds 68. Copy to working out box. So finally, this is how much all of the cement is going to cost him. Okay, uh, let's close that, get it out of the way. He has plenty of sand and gravel, good, because we've forgotten all about that. Well, deliberately, we've crossed it all off. He has a budget of £150 to buy the cement. Does he have enough money in his budget to buy the cement? The answer is no. It's going to cost him £159.68, which is more than the £150 that he's got. So my answer is no. Okay, because this is a long question, I want to go back and talk through everything we did here, because there was a lot of work that we've done. The first thing we had to do was find the volume of the the, the, the amount of cement he needed to need. He needed to need. The amount of cement he needed uh, and to do that we needed to find the volume of this cuboid but to do that we had to convert uh, this 10 centimeters into meters so everything was the same. So I did that conversion found it was 0.1 meters I then times them all together and found that the, vol the volume of cement that I needed was 3.3 meters cubed. I then used that number to work out how much cement I would need. If 1 meter cubed makes 300 kilograms then I need 3.3 times as much uh, which came to 990 kilograms of cement which then turned out to be 40 bags worth of cement. I broke down the bags of cement because we have this special offer into these sort of blocks of five and I worked out that I can get five bags for £19.96 and I need eight lots of five bags. Uh, eight lots of £19.96 cost me £159.68 which is more than his budget so he doesn't quite have enough. So after all that effort that is what we needed to do to get six marks on this question.